Hi guys, it's GK. On May 30th, 2010, Super Junior's performance was scheduled at the Shanghai Expo venue. At the time, tens of thousands of Korean wave fans lined up all night to get free tickets for Super Junior performance. But the organizing committee drastically reduced the free admission tickets, so many people did not receive it. The organizing committee mobilized armed police to surround the fans and call it with the angry fans. The anti-Korean wave fans who have watched this are outraged, saying that such actions by Chinese Korean wave fans have damaged their nation's dignity. And on June 9, 2010, the following article was posted on the search engine Baidu in China. This means unless the Korean wave fans disappear, the holy war will be continued. This is an anti-Korean wave slogan that marks the beginning of the 6ix9ine holy war they speak of. 6ix9ine refers to the word on June 9th, when the article was posted at the time, and since then, more than 100,000 internet users have poured out articles criticizing Korean wave fans. Some attack major Korean websites, including the main pages of Korean stars. At that time, the Ministry of Public Administration and Security officially announced that the national websites were attacked by China's DDoS for 220 minutes on the afternoon of the 9th. And on June 11th, 2010, China's Global Times admitted that it seemed to be an attack by Holy War participants. At the time, some Chinese media and intellectuals argued that this was an expression of excessive nationalism and that we should be wary of it, but it was already spilled. But now, 11 years later, this kind of movement is happening online in China, so I would like to share the news with you. On March 12th, a person posted on a website like Quora in China. China, with a population of 1.4 billion, is behind 15 million Korean and international opinion. The reason this happened is that we see Korea stealing Chinese culture, but we deliberately avoid it. We do not try to see it. We do not try to know it. Even if we violate our laws, we have no choice but to be patriotic. I thought about how to protect our culture. It was concluded that the only way to set a time like a robot was to attack and blow up the area related to the problem at once, like filming a drama. So Chinese are claiming that we are stealing their culture, and in this regard, let's attack the Korean websites. Due to this article, opinions are starting to come up that many people want to rebuild the 6 9 holy war that attacked various servers in Korea 10 years ago. First, let's look at the, some of the comments on the post above. Korean did it too, so let's respond with eye to eye. I remember the 6 9 holy war 10 years ago. It is illegal to bypass the VPN. I will report you. How many people will participate in the bypass mode? A lot? A hundred thousand or more people should participate. Now, after this article was posted, countless people began to share their opinions with each other about specific actions and how to attack Korean websites. This was written by one of them. If we attack Korea online this time, it will be the second 6 9 holy war. At the 6 9 holy war 11 years ago, over 100,000 people attacked Korea. Those who participate this time will show more glamorous and courageous appearance than before. Probably there will be a bigger harvest than at the time. Do not forget, we show justice to the crowd following the Korean wave recklessly. Even then, there were those who said that they should be considerate of neighboring countries, but we didn't care. Let's show our terror to Korea this time as well. We are patriotic hackers. As you can see, they called those who attack websites in other countries as patriotic hackers. Let's look at some comments. Haha, <laughs> he was a person who participated in the 6 9 holy war at the time. Let's start with a channel promoting Korea. If you report as a group and induce the fighting by swearing, those channels are easily closed. Don't worry about what Koreans swear by. Make them angry as much as possible and catch a pot and report it. Koreans aren't in a good mood these days, so they're going to get upset easily. Probably, if you keep swearing, their blood will flow upside down. The last time we bombed Taiwanese Twitter, it was really refreshing. 
This post was written by an anonymous internet user. I appealed to Weibo to share the news of this Korean attack. Guys, the purpose of our attack this time is not to curse them, but to spread their culture theft. You should never swear and fight with Korean. Then people from other countries will hate us as well. This is rather advantageous for Korea. Don't swear and make a legitimate claim based on evidence. Remember this part. We welcome those who participate in the attack together. We need to prepare as many photos as possible to explain our culture they claim to be theirs. It should be remembered that our purpose is to show to the international community the true image of Korea, which is now gaining a good international image. They somehow tried to catch a pot. Don't give them an excuse. Let's look at the comments on this post. We protect our culture, but what can we do without these attacks? We can't success only by discussing reasons with Korean. We just have to put the Korean keyboard warrior to sleep. Not that the purpose of this war is to inform neighboring countries, not blame Korea. Let's look at another person's writing. Chinese internet users who are active online very widely, I think they did enough to show their patriotism for their country. You shouldn't say anything nonsense like you should consider your relationship with Korea. They've stolen our culture. They're ridiculous about China and don't know how to honor us. The reason why Korea came out like this is because of the supremacy of Asia. It is because they want to seize the supremacy of Asia and they are fabricating their own history and stealing other cultures for the supremacy of Northeast Asia. So don't try to inspire them, just insult them. What comments were posted on this post? Both Korean in China and Koreans who are not in China should read this. If you want to know why people are so upset, it will make sense to see how Korea talk about Chinese on Twitter. That's right, they just need to be ashamed. There is no other way. Honestly, the Chinese government has already missed a victory, so this fight is right for us to lead. The hottest thing 10 years ago. It's useless to talk online. As you can see, they are determined and ready to fight by grabbing the pot. The generation of China born in 2000s is called after zero. They are the generation who grew up watching the Beijing Olympics and economic growth, and they believe in what the Chinese media say. We didn't just have guns, we are actually fighting a culture war. They distort our culture as their own and are trying to make ours their own. They believe in false media reports with no relevant knowledge and call it patriotism. China is only looking for opportunities to take ours at any time, so we will always have to look at them. Thank you for watching. Have a happy day.